This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Thursday, uh, May 6, 2021. And are you ready for the new segregation? Okay, today I wanted to talk about uh, the new segregation. It's not black and white. This is for vac vaccinated people, non-vaccinated people. Um, they had sections for blacks and whites. In the restaurants and bars years ago, they had smoking section, non-smoking section. And then, of course, you know, that they got rid of the black and white segregation. They got rid of the smoking in restaurants. How long will it be before they get rid of the non-vaccinated section in these places? I think it is Washington State, I think. Car. In Washington State, I think it is. They're implementing the vaccine passport or the vaccine ID. If you want to go to a stadium, if you want to go to school, if you want to go shopping, you are going to have to show your uh, vaccine ID. You're going to have to have two. Uh, I think it's the Moderna and the other shot. I forgot my phone that had it on it. Or you need the Johnson Johnson shot. And you're going to have to show proof before you go into these places. So if you're holding out, and we're not getting our vaccines how long will it be before we're not allowed into a store we're not allowed to shop we can't go maybe we can't get gasoline oh these gnats are horrible Whew. I just got attacked by by gnats how long before we can't go to the store maybe we can't get gasoline Maybe you can't go to the grocery store. You can't go, you can't get your hair done. You can't get your nails done. Maybe you can't go into tractor supply. You can't buy gardening tools. You can't buy your seeds. They might make this state by state. Local governments, it, it all depends on how this goes. I mean, we're holding out. I mean, I'm not going to take the vaccine, but... I mean, that's my choice. A lot of people I know were against it. They're not getting the vaccine. They're not, they don't care. They'll go to an, you know, in a, a camp before they take it. Now they got it or they're talking about getting it because it's the trendy thing to do. It's everybody's getting it and they don't want to be the outcast. They're being ridiculed. Um, they're the they're crazy one that's not taking it. So, how long are you willing not to take it? Are you willing to take it to go shopping? I mean, we're going to move. We're planning on moving in the middle of nowhere where we don't have... I mean, right now we have people we know that will go along with it. They will conform and, you know, they want to. That's their choice. So, if we need food, if we need stuff for the store, we can always have them get it for us. But will there be a limit? You know, if you're only, okay, you, you got your, your, your passport, your ID on your phone, your electronic passport, or they're going to put it in your, in your skin with that tattoo. Are you going to be allowed a certain amount of food? Because there's going to, there's a shortage. Things are going to get worse. So are you only going to be allowed to have, well, there's only two people in your household or there's four people, uh, you know, a household of four, adult, two adults, two kids. Are you going to be allowed to get one loaf of bread, one dozen eggs, one block of cheese? Or are you going to be able to get a list from your neighbors and get more stuff? How long until, like we order stuff online from Amazon? Or Walmart.com or wherever you go, you know, if you don't get it, you can always order stuff online. Or at the checkout, are you going to have to put your ID, your credit card number, and your vaccine number? 
how long is this going to take before we can't go anywhere? And how far, how long can you hold out? Are you not going to take it regardless of what happens? Do you have people that can go shopping for you? Or are you in six months or a year from now, things are getting worse? You, oh, phew. you can't get any food. Are you willing to take that to get your food, to get your supplies? I mean, right now it's... They're going to segregate. You're going to have to, you know, some stores, you're going to go in and sit over there if you're vaccine, vaccinated. And stadiums are talking about using two separate entrances. What about bathrooms? They're going to have one for men and women that are vaccinated, one for men and women that aren't vaccinated. Are they going to have ones, men and women, and it, and it, uh, it, and whatever for transgender? How many bathrooms are they going to have? Or are we going to have to go outside into a porta pot Things aren't looking good. And if they make this like certain stores are closing, they're going out of business. And a lot of people are getting pissed off that they're getting vaccinated. There's other people that aren't and they're still going to the same stores. How long before the local stores that... They're the only ones open. They're having problems getting supplies in and food. Their prices are going up. But if they're going to lose customers because of us unvaccinated people, well, maybe the local stores are going to make it mandatory too. You're going to have to show, you know, to go to the local convenience store, you might have to show your, your passport or card just to get inside. You know, how far is this going to go? How, how worse is it going to get? And, I mean, how far are you willing to go? Are you willing to comply? I'm not, but I don't know how things are going to play out. Things are getting really, really bad. And what I'm seeing on the news, people are talking about these crazy people that, you know, they don't, the pandemic is false, it's not real, and they're not getting vaccinated. That's got nothing to do with any of it. It's still freedom of choice if you want to take that or not. So this is Pony Prepper Bill. I just wanted to bring this to your attention as far as the mandatory segregation. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for go in this door, go in that door, enter this side? Or if you're not vaccinated, you can't shop here. Are you ready for that? This is Piney Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.